my god. This is so funny. I think it was the toggle. Like the... Oh my god. And the... This is so funny. We get the slow-mo as well. Oh, and you can see it here. Too late. He walked towards... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some long-distance destruction. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you join the squad of League content connoisseurs growing every day and hit the subscribe button. Let's hop right back in with the perfect lineup. Watch that map. Red team finishes off Hecarim and blindly turns their back. If you're this enemy Jin, you gotta be spam pinging your teammates. I'm a legend is indeed a legend. This Morgana knows it's 2v3, but she's flying in face first with the stopwatch and the level 6 advantage to create space for her Kate to do all that she needs to do. So worth. I'll take that in there. I thought I got out, dude. Yeah, I'll take that. I was expecting the Gale Force in, not the Claw Fourth Shot Execute. Next up, we've got less than a minute for Dragon to spawn, and Maggie Carps found the perfect target downrange.
team's turret has been destroyed. Very known for uh oh, oh that's a hit. Dude, that's such a hit. Bro, that bomb is bull The best part of being 1v2 is not having to share EXP, and those solo kills are worth a lot. on all the world on one arrow Adam doesn't even need to oh, I wish I had that they in the mind fight they in the mind fight Final Spark is almost off cooldown. Hecarim thinks Karma's caught until J4 shows. They nab the kill onto the horse, which gives him 6 for the ult and sets Lux right up for the snipe. said they needed to get off the bat early so they could try and play it through these side lanes not run afoul of the team fighting that could be brought to the table from Koi well I mean arrows like this setting up plays like this for mad lines is exactly what they need to do oh, it's gonna wait I've seen whenever he like tries to group, you know. Here, watch this. Watch this. Come on, tell me that's cash. Tell me that's cash, please. Let's go! Oh Snowball Barrage is also a pro snow bowler. Got it. Haha, <laughs> he's dead. Yeah. He knows his ranges and that there's no shun po targets nearby. Next up, is this what you call jinxing it? Come on, baby, run, baby. No, there's no way he's not a sniper. He's not a true sniper. Showed herself, and I was all like, okay. Nice. Red team snags Baron, but is barreling down mid with zero vision. 
coming out. Sinja Mega Death yeah. Dragon just destroys everyone. This could be the Panty Kill coming over to Jinx. She's got the Shred. There's a good stun coming out. Oriana's left alive. Shockwave goes down. Swelfy picks up that kill, but that Jinx rocket. One. So that press E, they're not going to fall down. I can't tell. This Varus is built for poke and lethality. Look at his runes. And while the comet isn't up yet, Scorch is always at the ready for a little bit of bonus damage. Ha! Oh my god, Katana! this river how long does it take Aaron photon needs to get in the position to flank perks needs to find something is he dead is going to jump and he's just dead oh my god oh, Aaron, man he's a pain cushion one blue team's going in for the dive top but no one expects the jungle gin counter gank from two screens away Squid Game Girl snuck all the way down and around her own base for the perfect flank, and Zed and Gwen have spawned just in time for the backup. This guarantees Baron and opens a chance to end the game if Gwen can push past the lone sever back home. God, I need Hilfe! Hilfe here! Du bist tot. Okay, Brutus, I'm not going to get Thanks so much for watching, that's going to do it for today's episode all on Snipes. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe for some more good stuff like this daily. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.